In this segment, I'm going to show you how to massage yourself with your own hands. What we're going to start with is the face region. So we're going to use more of your fingers right at the temporal region. You don't want to use a tons of pressure, but just a little bit of moderate pressure. And when you start to feel a pulse, make sure you don't go any deeper then. But some people will use like slow motions to help with headaches. Even though most of the headaches are in the back of the neck, but sometimes they can be in this area too. So you're just going to kind of slow. And some people will use this for like meditation or relaxation too. And you can go in different directions. Another option, if you have TMJ problems, temporal mandibular joint syndrome or symptoms, some people call them, or dysfunction or disorder, but with that, sometimes people's jaw will lock, or you might grind your teeth, or your jaw might pop a little bit. With that, um, we're going to massage more like the masseter, it's called right here. And you can just kind of go slowly. And with, when you're massaging yourself, just start off superficial, so kind of light pressure to start with. And then you can go a little bit deeper to get to those tender areas. But more than likely, you're not going to get really painful. That's why you need another therapist or somebody else to work on you to get to the depth of the level that you really need sometimes. But this is great to start off with. With the way to feel the masseter, you hold right here and you kind of clinch. You can see the muscle is kind of opening up there, but that's that masseter right there. And you can even kind of go cross fiber friction. So the muscle runs up and down. We're just going to go like this. Just back and forth. And if you, for even deeper, you just go a little bit even slower. So the deeper you go, the slower you go. And you can close your eyes during this too. It helps, helps slow, the, slow things down. Because sometimes with your eyes open, you might go a little bit faster then. Another option for your TMJ problems, I'm just going to hold here and slowly open up your jaw and slowly close. Open and close. Or you can protract, retract. Protract, retract. So pro, bring it forward, retract, bring it back. So you're just going to go like that, or you can again open and close. And you're typically having the same amount of pressure each time, so you're holding, slowly opening, and closing. Or some people will, when you open, you can go a little bit deeper too if you can handle it. But just again, whatever you can feel comfortable with for those areas. For the actual temporal mandibular joint, you have to go in your ear a little bit. So you're going to go in your ear, and you're going to kind of pull it this way. And you're going to kind of protract, retract, and you can feel that a little bit. You don't have to put your finger all the way in your ear, but just a little bit. But that's where the actual joint is. Or you can go in this area too, and massage and help with the joint. But the area you want to concentrate on first is the unaffected side. So the area that doesn't hurt as much first, so you can get a good guideline on um, what kind of pressure to use. And then you're going to go to the affected side and see if it's about the same for pressure-wise. So again, the masseter right here. And again, you can, you can even use more of your palms if you want. Or you can even kind of place your hands on your forehead and kind of go like this, kind of glide. Or in just different directions. And with t somebody that has TMJ problems, um, I'm not diagnosing, but this is why um, some people with TMJ, they'll, if you can't fit three fingers in your mouth like this, if you can't fit three in, you might have some um, jaw problems, so get it checked out by a doctor then. So again, I'm not diagnosing, but that's one indication if um, people have problems with their jaw. But again, if people grind their teeth or um, those different kind of symptoms I was talking about have it um, checked out by a doctor just to be safe. So again, TMJ stuff, 
And another option, if you cannot handle any kind of pain, I'm going to find a tender area and I'm going to use a pain scale, let's say 1 to 10, 10 being too much pain. I'm going to bring it up to like a 7 or 8, so some discomfort, so like this. And then I'm going to move my joint or somewhere else around until there's little to no pain. So let's say I'm going to move it towards it and I can't hardly feel any more pain then. And I'm just going to hold it there for a couple minutes. It seems like a long time, but it retrains the muscles to be in a more like relaxed state is what we're doing then. So again, find an area, bring it to a 7 or 8 for discomfort, and then move it around to a little to no pain and hold it there for a couple minutes. If you can't do that, even like 30 seconds is better than nothing. But those are the type of people that cannot handle a lot of pressure. That's what we're going to use is those kind of techniques then.